Okay, I think we've done enough with tag selectors. We're going to learn about a new type of selector in CSS, something called the class selector. So what do I mean by class? Well, class selector is short for a classification selector. So what's a classification? Another word for classification is kind, K-I-N-D, or maybe style. So let me give you an example. Let's go to the search engine and let's look up musical styles. You know, you got different uh, musical artists out there. You got uh, Jay-Z, uh, Beyonce, uh, I don't know, Led Zeppelin. Uh, I don't know, who, 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 what, what do you guys listen to nowadays? Justin Bieber. Yeah, I'm sure you guys love Justin Bieber. Anyway, so he's from Canada too. All right, so let's look at Beyonce's musical style. So she sings, so she performs R&B music. Let's say, um, I don't know, who else, who else is big today? Well, I'm just going to go with people I know. Uh, Led Zeppelin music style. Blues, British folk. So they did, did a bunch of different styles of music. So, and then you have like, uh, I guess Jay-Z is rap music. So you got rock and roll, blues music, you have R&B music. So each of these styles of music, you can call them classes of music. So it's like a classification. So anybody who does rock and roll, like Led Zeppelin, ACDC, bands like that, you could classify them as rock and roll. They do rock and roll music. Anybody who does rap, I don't know, Eminem, Jay-Z, I guess. They do rap music. That's the genre, that's the style, that's the class of music that they do. I hope that makes sense. So when you're creating a class in CSS, you're creating a style, if you will. You're creating a CSS style that can then be applied to any tags in your page. So let me uh, get into some code here. So you see here, we have our tag selectors. Now the thing with the tag selectors, if you set up these rules, they apply to all the H1s in your page. But let's say you wanted to have a special style for just the first heading in your page. Not all the other H1s in the page. Well, pretend there's other H1s. Okay, let's pretend there's uh, two H1s here. Okay, there we go. So let's say you wanted to have a special style just for this H1 and not for this H1. Now, you couldn't do that with the tag selector because this tag selector selects not just the first H1 in a page, it selects all the H1s in your page, right? That's the problem. So to solve that, we can use a class selector. So let me show you what that is. So to save time, I'm just gonna copy and paste this. I'm gonna create a class selector and I'm gonna call it super H1. Let me save that. So I know it's a class because whenever you put a period in front of a word, or it could even just be uh, one letter, but usually you want to put a word that tells you something about the class. So it's on a super uh, H1. This is a class. So what you can do now is you can apply this rule to any tag on the page. It doesn't, not just H1s, it can apply to your paragraphs, your body, whatever. So let's change a few things. So let's first, we'll keep the color green. We'll keep the font size. Let's reduce the font size to uh, 32. And let's give it a uh, background color. And we'll say it's orange. All right, so here we go. So now we've created a new class, Super H1, color green. That's the font color green. Well, it's a text color green. We set the font size to 32, but we gave it a background color of orange. So now how do we apply this class? Pretty simple. I'm just going to copy and paste it. We're going to say, you go here and you go class equals, and I put in the name, super H1. And uh, there you go. So now what's going to happen is all this uh, CSS code will apply, will work on this particular H1 here. Why? Because I assigned it the class of super H1. So let's uh, open it up. I'm just going to size it up so it looks good. So here we go. We've applied a class. Now, we can apply this class to multiple items on the same page. Let's apply it to this paragraph as well. 
Boom. There we go. You see what I mean? So with a class selector, it starts with a period plus the selector, the class selector name. And then just like with the tag selector, you have your opening and your closing curly brackets. And then you start putting in your CSS code, your properties and their values and uh, away you go. And then to apply this class, you actually have to go to whatever tag that you want to apply this class to. And you have to write class equals open quotes, close quotes, and the class name. Eh, not bad. We'll continue in the next video.